The sky loomed ominously over Renald Fanwar as he observed it, the cloud formations alien in their stark contrast and eerie beauty. These clouds, swirling with the dark essence of onyx and interrupted by the startling gleam of argent, seemed less like weather and more like a celestial warning. They hung heavily, pregnant with unshed storms, the air around them charged with a static expectancy. As the lightning danced silently among them, it illuminated the clouds not with the usual jagged bursts, but with a luminous, metallic sheen, like veins of silver running through the heart of a vast, dark mine. Rinald's home, with its aged wood and the comforting familiarity of creaking under his weight, stood resilient yet noticeably dwarfed under the expansive northern sky. The porch, made from Blacoque whose grain still held the echoes of the forest it once called home, bore the mark of time and care, a testament to the craftsman's skill and the enduring strength of nature's materials. This chair and porch had seen many seasons, yet none quite as foreboding as this. The air around him was heavy with a cocktail of earthy scents, dust that had been stirred but not settled, leaves that had dried long before they had a chance to decay, and the poignant absence of rain that the season of spring promised yet withheld. It was a scent that spoke of waiting and of change delayed, a natural cycle interrupted by an unseen hand. In his garden, the remnants of winter clung stubbornly. The shrubs, once lush and vibrant, now stood as brittle sentinels to the passing of a harsher season, their lifeless branches a stark contrast to the stark fence that surrounded them. This fence, whitewashed and bright under the shadow of the tumultuous sky, seemed to be the only barrier against the encroaching desolation from beyond, holding at bay the decay that crept closer with the stillness of the air. And there, in the simplicity of his actions, chewing on the unlit pipe, his contemplative gaze shifting from the chaotic sky to the deadened earth of his own small domain, Renald embodied the resilience of a man well acquainted with the rhythms of nature and the patience required to endure its less merciful moods.